Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his guy, his guy is a bona fide beer night So whether it's a porter or an IPA Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Yep, just me tonight. Nobody else here. Doing a pretty, uh, maybe not special, but high-ranked beer. This is Keegan Ale's Mother's Milk. It's a milk stout. As you can tell, a robust, full-bodied stout. This is the number one ranked beer on thefoaminghead.com, which is a website of uh, beer reviews of, of just beers that are brewed in New York. So maybe they'll uh, put this video on their website or or something. But uh, let me just uh, read to you the description here on the Keegan Ale's website. As the name implies, it is a dark and creamy milk stout, hints of oatmeal, chocolate, and of course milk make this remarkably smooth and silky finish a classic example of the style. So, sounds pretty good. I've heard good things. Um, and I'm sure Jay will probably review this soon. Anyways, uh, guess we should get porn. Speaking of Jay, maybe I'll do his uh, pouring technique and pour down the center slowly. So that's just all head right there. The difference between Jay and I is that he has the patience to sit and wait for the head to settle. But I don't. That's why I usually pour down the side so that I can get straight to drinking. There you go. Huge head. Well, I don't know if I had to take a break before I drink the beer. But I'll be right back as soon as this is ready. Okay, I'm back. Still got a pretty big head on there, but uh, patience is not a virtue of mine. So I just wanted to get started. So as you can see, just totally opaque black body. Uh, you know, as you saw huge whiff, like a whipped almost kind of, you know, foamy head. It's not really creamy, it's more, it's definitely more foamy. Yeah. I cheated. Has a typical kind of stout scent. I mean, a lot of them, they smell more or less the same, or, you know, in the general. Uh, very malty, some kind of sweetness to it. Not uh, particularly roasty in the scent. Anyway, so uh, let's take a taste. Mmm. Very creamy. I mean, it is a milk stout. So milk stouts tend to have that kind of uh, creamy body to them. Very soft mouthfeel. It definitely is roasty, and I can kind of taste like that oatmeal and chocolate-like taste. Not quite as strong as uh, an actual oatmeal stout. It does have a fairly roasty taste to it, but it also has a, a more of a thin body. It's not quite as uh, you know thick and full-bodied as a. Uh, like some real heavy stouts. This this drinks more like a, a a lighter beer. It does have a nice bitter, you know, typical bitter uh, stout taste to it. Bit of a coffee coffee notes there too. So uh, so far so good. Mmm. That's a good beer, the uh, King and Ales Mother's Milk. Nice uh, overall real rich, tasty uh, flavor. Got some kind of coffee and chocolate notes going on there. Uh, fairly roasty, but not super roasty. So it's very, you know, drinker friendly. Nice soft mouth feel. Uh, you know, easy finish, real easy to drink. You know what's weird is that it doesn't say on their website or on Brew Advocate or a Beer Advocate or uh, anywhere. It doesn't say the uh, 
alcohol by volume. I'm, I'm guessing it's fairly low, like, it's got to be 5 to maybe 5.5 at the highest. Just don't know. It doesn't feel like that heavy of a beer. You know, I just drank two as an after-dinner treat, and, you know, I've definitely had heavier beers, so, you know, it's pretty light on its feet. Overall, good taste. Not too crazy about what seems like a almost a metallic finish to it, which I suspect is just kind of like the milk. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a milk stout before. I've had cream stouts, but never, not a milk one. So I mean, it's a little thinner in body than than a lot of uh, your heavier stouts like oatmeal and cream. So overall, really good beer. I give it an A minus. Thanks for watching. Please rate and comment on the video, and I will see you next time. Somebody brewed it, Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.